In our last episode, we set sail once more to enjoy the remarkable anchorage to be found just off of the Georgian harbour town of Charleston. This ancient feeling port really did invoke the feeling of stepping back in time. But sadly, the tranquility wasn't set to last as the wind was due to shift round to the south, leaving the anchorage totally exposed. And so, it was time to move Godoa somewhere a little more protected. Upon arriving in our new anchorage, we wasted no time setting our solar up to catch the maximum amount of sun. After everything was set, it was time to venture to shore. Allow us to share the remarkable Port Mellon. Alright, so today is the 1st of September and it's amazingly encouraging to see the sun in September. It's amazingly encouraging this year to see the sun at all. Um, but the 1st of September is important because this new anchorage that we find ourselves in, the beach that you can land on, there are no dogs allowed until... 1st of September, so it's fine now, but yesterday somebody might have got the hump. This is quite a quiet, sleepy little, I don't know if it's not, it's not a town, like a hamlet. Is it a hamlet's probably the right word? Uh, yeah. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm imagining a whole bunch of you guys in the comments will know for sure whether this is a hamlet, a village, a town, so jump in the comments and let us know, just so we can be clear. It is also spring tide, so if we go for a walk this too long, then we could end up with a boat that's stranded up a wall. So maybe we'll leave a long painter line out. So I was just talking to one of the local guys sat on the wall doing his crossword a second ago about being right down here on the water. I was like, does it ever get old? And he said, no. He said, it always gives you something to, uh, to sit in awe of, whether it's a beautiful sunny day like this. He said, or a strong easterly breeze blowing through here. Well, a storm basically. And he said, the waves can crash right up over in, into the houses. And that's why they have all these braces on the windows. And he said one morning, he went, he went out first thing and looked at his neighbor's house and he said the entire roof, which is three stories high, was covered in seaweed. <laughs> imagine, imagine that. All right, so we're just off to find another beautiful walk. And a lot of you do ask us where exactly it is we head off on these walks. So when you're here, you can go and check them out too. And like I always say, you don't need a boat to come and explore these places. You can arrive by car, the coastal walk, public transport. You can camp in one of these places generally. But if you are interested in the exact walks that we do, then on Godoa.com, on each anchorage page, we're actually adding a little video at the bottom, which will give you a little animated video of exactly the walk that we took. So if you're interested, check it out at Godoa.com and uh, see for yourself exactly where we've gone. Follow in our footsteps if you like.
All right, so as we're walking along this really beautiful coastal path, we've been peering over the edge and we've seen all these really interesting looking spots that really need some further investigation. We've got big sandy patches and then reef and then sandy patches and reef, and it extends out all the way from the beach. So I imagine the topography of the seabed is going to be really interesting and full of structure, which means there'll be fish and all sorts, hopefully swimming around. But today's mission is to really get Carly in the water and comfortable with our electronic hooker system, because well I bought it for her originally so she could join me down there whilst I was free diving but she just hasn't got on with it at all it's like she's got this extreme phobia of being underneath the water and I think that's just come to light we thought it was just her not wanting to hold her breath because she's asthmatic but now that we've taken away the problem of having to hold her breath the phobia seems much deeper rooted and she had a, such a severe asthma attack when she was a kid she genuinely believed she was going to die and I I we think it's kind of tapping back into that. So it's a beautiful place. The visibility is good. We've got a friend with us as well who's also got one of these electronic hookers. So we're going to get in the water. I'm going to hold Carly's hand through the whole thing and see. It would be amazing if she could come down there with me and see the things I see rather than just wait for the GoPro footage to come back because it's never the same on the GoPro as it is when you see it with your own eyes. So wish us luck. Wish Carly luck. And uh, yeah, let's crack on with this walk. How are you feeling brave? Uh, as brave as I'm going to be. Okay. I feel like today's the day. It's a good day. Yeah. yeah. The sun is shining. Yeah, we'll at least get you just two metres under the water. If we can do two metres, I think that'll be... If we achieve that, that'll be a goal worth, worth celebrating. Okay. <laughs> two metres. Well, it's safe to say the tide is well on its way out. Wouldn't have wanted to leave that much longer. You know who's dragging the boat back, don't you? Is that wheel punching now? No. Oh yeah, maybe. The time had come for Carly to once again try to face her fear of being under the water. Are you autistic? <laughs> Take it slow and just get Carly used to breathing compressed air. Danny, on the other hand, wastes no time heading down to explore the seabed, whilst Carly tries once again to take baby steps towards breathing underwater. The visibility here is so good and I am rooting for her to be able to share in these experiences with me. Danny is close by, which helps Carly feel more comfortable, even if he is scouring the seabed for lobsters too. Although it turned out that our company extended beyond just Danny. This little one seemed curious as to what was going on too. Slowly but surely, Carly pushed beyond her comfort zone 
where we started to explore the shallows together. Cornish Lager. Cornish Lager, thank you very much. And a big congratulations on managing to get all the way down to six metres, way beyond what I expected. So well done you, very proud of you. And thanks for being there as backup, despite all the controversy that we seem to have caused in the local area. Anyway, cheers. To say that I'm proud of how Carly faced and overcame such a deep-rooted fear would be an understatement. Despite many wobbles in confidence, her determination and bravery to achieve what she set her mind to was inspiring. And if you're interested in seeing the exact places that we visit, then every single anchorage that we've ever dropped the hook in and had the privilege to be a guest in can be found here on our website at kadoa.com. <laughs>